you should be deeply concerned about the damage being done to the integrity of the institutions in which you operate. Politicization and weaponization. This is profoundly damaging to the rule of law in our nation. This is why you are damaging the institution. Unlimited hubris. You believe you are unaccountable. You don't believe you're accountable to the American people. It's a pretty strong ad and I wanna be very clear, that's real, it's not AI generated. That's his real audio, his real video, his real beard. We checked all of it, it's hard to believe, but it's true. It was produced by the Lose Cruz Pack, which is aiming to take on Cruz as he tries to get reelected to his seat in the Senate. They put out this ad just in the last day with this accompanying it saying that Ted Cruz has turned his back on Texas and betrayed the company. Lose Cruz is a campaign led by Texans who are laser focused on one goal, defeating Ted Cruz. By the way, friend of the show, Olivia Giuliana is involved with the organization. We're gonna hopefully be talking to her about it. We'll have the response from the Cruz campaign in just a sec. But look, there are a lot of people that we would love to see lose their positions. A lot of people who deserve to lose their positions. I feel like Ted Cruz is S tier. When it comes to that, that guy should be nowhere within 100 miles of elected office. Um, And so I would just, I would love for him to get taken out. We're gonna show you some of the polling, but what do you think, Brett? Did you just bleep screwed? He's S here? What? He's S tier. Did you say S or F tier? Oh, S tier. On a tier list of those who should lose their office, he is S tier, which is the highest tier. Oh, I didn't even know that. Okay, I'm a I got gamer. You. What do you want out of me? Good for you. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> oh, I get it. I get it now. Okay, I didn't understand that, but I'm glad we all clarified it for people who are just- The Twitch people get it. Physical athletes like you. Yeah, um, this is great. I love stuff like this. I love messaging campaigns that are like, yo, your boy just took, you know, they, they want to cruise out of there. And then they go and do basically anything that will just kick up dust. Um, and it's like, yo, he was bad, dude. Ted Cruz, he betrayed Trump. He, and then you go to someone else on the other side of your my, your eye in in her mouth, and you go like, uh, you know, he's uh he's against decent human beings in in legitimate ways. Um, he aided and abetted Trump. I I love all the messaging in this. I love like the the bad TV filter that people put up. Um, it's mm-hmm. so funny. It's it's one of those things that you just do and see what happens. My big question with this is um, is like, to what extent do people actually get exposed to this kind of messaging anymore? No, it I know. used to be you would run these ads on uh, like Jeopardy, and they still do that, but. I don't know how many people are actually watching that kind of stuff. And the legacy media voter is fascinating to me because they're either entrenched because they're old or they're like, I haven't really been paying attention to anything political because I've just been watching Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy in 60 minutes. And then they just come up for air and then they get this onslaught of ad messaging that um, is directed at them, I don't know if it works. But typically the prevailing sentiment is when you go negative like this, you polarize and shrink the electorate. It doesn't have the effect of getting in moderate people so mad that they get to the polls. Typically it has them going like, oh, it's so dirty, I'm gonna stay home. So you're left with that like, you know, that that saucy reduction of the most polarized vo- uh, voters in America who just are like, mm-hmm. You know, I I was gonna vote this way anyway, and now there's not any moderates out there voting to to kind of catalyze me. I don't. I, I know Absolutely. that that is that's that has been shown. I don't know in the modern era when it's a figure like Ted Cruz that people are so familiar with. I don't know if that effect would be as strong. I also think that an organization like this right now is probably focused on raising money to run a bunch of ads. I think that this is the sort of thing that you can do to remind people that the race is happening. Remind people that Ted Cruz is going to be up to potentially lose. Raise a bunch of money to then run TV ads probably when the actual election comes. That would be my expectation. Um, and I do think that it, this sort of thing will probably get Democrats fired up. I think that there's there's a place for that with any of these social media ads. I don't know how likely they are to be seen by people on the opposite side, particularly with Twitter now being what it is, where it's 
expressly set up to benefit the right. I, I don't think, unless they're verified, I don't think that a lot of uh, uh, Republicans are gonna be seeing it anyway. Uh, that said though, I do wanna update you on the current state of the polling. We don't have a lot because we're so far out from it. But as of right now, Ted Cruz is leading, um, was considered to be the, the main Democratic opponent, at least as of right now, there's still a lot of time. Colin Alred, 42 to 37. Uh, 7% of the vote going to other candidates, 14% of the vote uh, saying that they don't know. And thus implying that there's, in theory, a lot of room for them to break, maybe evenly, maybe not. I don't know. We've, we've seen Ted Cruz multiple times get, it seemed like it was possible he was gonna lose and he still squeaked it out. But it would be absolutely massive to flip a Texas Senate seat. And it it really does feel like at some point it might happen. They keep like they keep encouraging people from states like California to move to Texas. There is a price to eventually potentially be paid for that. And I would love for it to be sort of announced to the political world by Ted Cruz losing narrowly in his Senate race. Any other thoughts? I want Ted Cruz to to lose widely in a in a Senate race, and anything that helps that become a reality would be so delicious, especially in a state like Texas, especially in a narrative where it's like people are fleeing California in droves to move to Texas, and if that ends up biting them in the ass, God bless. God bless yeah. them so much. If it's a mix of people being like, I'm not getting out there because I don't want to vote for Trump. And I don't want to be part of any of this. If it's the disillusioned centrist Republican who's like, he's not helping the case. You can also go and convince the same people that you just start playing ads where Ted Cruz is against Trump. And if you can target those and say that, you know, when Ted Cruz was like, these are terrorists out there, and you just went about January 6th and you hammer that home to people who are susceptible to turning against Cruz on that, and then yeah. the parts where he's siding with Trump. That's that's what you do and you do it hard. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.